All right, now example two. Okay, now in example one, we learned that um, there are basically two different methods to solve identity questions like this. Okay, to solve for A, B, and C, right? So we say that method one, which we um, demonstrated in example one, was the expansion method. Okay, so meaning to say we expand everything here and then compare coefficient. Okay, side by side, we compare one by one and then we get. So this is method number one. Okay, the first method. Alright, so and uh, in the same example, example one previously, we talk about method number two, which is by substitution method. Alright, so by using the substitution method, okay, which is method two. So I told you in example one that I will show you the best way to do um, exam uh, questions like this. Okay, how what is the best way? Now well, the best way is not just by using method one, strictly using method one or strictly using method two. The best way to do um, this kind of uh, identity question would be to use both at the same time. Okay, for certain things we use, uh, for certain parts of the question we use expansion. Uh, that means comparing coefficient will be faster, and certain parts we use substitution will be a bit faster as well. Okay, so let's take a look and uh, at how we. Um, you know, we'll at approach this question. Okay, the first thing that we'll do, all right, is by the expansion method. Okay, to find a. What do I mean? I thought you say that you know there's no expansion to do because it will be the shortest, the best method to do it. And so why expansion? Okay, the idea is that we're going to do the expansion mentally. Okay. Now, as you know, I mean, you should know that when you expand these three products out, okay, you're going to get a mess. A big chunk of um, A's and B's and X and squares and cubes and all over the place, right? But there's, you know, there's only one thing, okay, that strikes out from this is that you, when you multiply your AX to X, you get your AX square, okay? And when you take your AX square to multiply by the next X, you get your AX cube, okay? You should notice that when in this expansion, which you're not going to do, but you should know that there is only one term with x cubed. Okay, there's only one way you can get x cubed, and that one way of getting the x cubed will be ax multiplied by x, and that's how you get your ax cubed. Okay, there isn't any other x cubed around. Okay, if you don't believe, you can go, in, go ahead and do the expansion yourself, and you will realize that there's only one term with x cubed, and there will be ax cubed. How does it help us? Well, you know that at the right hand side, there's an ax cubed. I mean cube, okay? And at the left hand side, you see this 2x cube here? Exactly. So by comparing coefficient, okay? Isn't it? Alright, so we can say, well, by comparing, okay? Well, we realize that A is equal to 2. Okay? Simple, isn't it? I mean, you don't really, uh, there isn't really any working, okay? We've practiced, this will come quickly, very fast. Okay, so by one glance you know hey, A is equal to 2. Da, there you go. Okay, so the next thing will be, okay, alright, that's great, this sounds like a good idea. Ma, how, how do you find B and C then? Okay, to find B and C, we'll use the substitution method. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is substitute in X equals to 2. Alright, why? Right, do you see this bracket here? Yes, exactly. When X is 2, this will become 2 minus 2 and it will become a 0. So 0 multiplied by anything will give you a 0. Alright, so we already know that the right hand side will be simply C. Okay, and the left hand side, what do you become? Well, you just have to substitute in x equals to 2. So 2x cubed when x is 2, alright, 2 cubed is 8. Alright, so 8 multiplied by 2, that will give you a 16. Okay, um, 7x squared, so when x is 2, x squared is 4, right? And therefore, 4 multiplied by 7, that will give you 28. Okay? Of course, 17 multiplied by 2, that will give you 34. Okay? Minus 13. So from here, when you work out, you realize that c is equal to negative 3. Okay? So this is how we find c. Alright? Then you may ask next, okay, good. How are we going to find b then? Okay, now this is when you got to pay attention. Alright, now B is the final unknown, the last one, right? So now we are back to a basic question of one equation with only one unknown. So there shouldn't be any problem solving this. 
Okay, one equation with one unknown. Uh, but of course, still, we'll do the substitution method here. Okay, what do we substitute in now? Okay, we'll substitute in x equals to 0. Okay, why 0? Well, because we like to make things easy. So when x is 0, you know that the left-hand side will, this will become 0, 0, 0, and there will only, only be left with minus 13. So we know that, well, negative 13 is equal to, now, here. When x is 0, ax will become 0. So 0 plus 1, this will be a 1, right? So x is 0, 0 plus b, this will be a b. So 1 multiplied by b will give you b. Very good. So um, when x is 0, so 0 minus 2 will give you a negative 2, right? So negative 2 multiplied by b previously, that will give you a negative 2b. Okay? And since we already know what is c, c is negative 3, and there you go, c is negative 3. So from here, we'll figure out that, well, my negative 2b is equal to negative 10. Okay? And therefore, I mean, this shouldn't be difficult at all. So b is equal to positive 5. Okay? So this is the best way that you can do, all right, um, to, to, uh, to solve questions like this. Okay? Identity questions like this. Okay? Um, it's the best method is the combination of both the expansion method, which is the sub, um, comparing coefficient method, okay, and uh, the method number two, which is substitution method. Uh, as you can see, the real working, okay, the, the real working that you really have to show will be here only, okay, only this part, right? So there's no messy expansion to deal with, and there's no uh, simultaneous equation to substitute for, okay? So... Take a look at example 3, I'll show you another one, and uh, hopefully you get the hang of it by then. Now, 